What's shaking eggs and bacon? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I am in Japan, of all places. We've got a lot planned in the next six days, so I thought might as well make a video about living out of this thing for the next six days. I'm sure I'm gonna get up to some crazy stuff. Stick with me, I'm sure we're gonna find some, uh, some interesting things along the way, halfway across the globe. I'm excited. I'm in the middle of nowhere, Japan. So sick. Look at that. Beware of bears. I am currently in the middle of a Japanese forest carrying a sign that I found lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. I went up like a bunch of switchbacks trying to get down a trail and thought it might be a fun idea to try to take a shortcut. And here I am, taking that shortcut. Well, at least I'll have a good story if I make it out of here. It's beautiful though. I got a feeling I finally found the trail. time since I've been in Japan, it's starting to rain. This is how you order your food here in Japan. Well, at this particular place. It's pretty common though, it's like a vending machine. Just select what you want to get, prints you off a little ticket, and you bring it up to the front. Car parked. Oh, is it? It's good. Yeah. US? Yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Doko, doko. Yeah, cold. Which part? Uh, Duluth, up by Lake Superior. Doko. The uh, Lake Superior is the biggest body of fresh water in in America. Lake Superior. Yep. Superior. Yep. Lake Superior. Lake Superior. <laughs> All right. All pulled into the first spot for the night. Had a nice campfire with some new friends. 
<coughs> and I'm getting up early tomorrow morning to go to a blacksmithing class. Make my own kitchen knife. See you in the morning. Oh yeah, baby. Good morning. I slept so good last night. Even on my decline. Wait, if you look at my bed, it's kind of like this. For breakfast this morning, we've got melon bread. This one's with chocolate chips. And then I have the original flavor here, which is just, I'm guessing which is just melon. Never had this before. It's apparently really popular here in Japan. I'm gonna give it a go. Look at that, it's like green. It does kind of taste like melon. It's very good. This one's got a brown center. Oh, that's good. It's like a cookie. All right, this morning I'm driving to Yakawacho, Ichizen in Fukui, Japan. So I'm in Fukui right now, but it's like a 30 minute drive. I am going to see how they do cold forged steel here in Japan and make knives and swords and all sorts of things. I am so excited. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good. good. I'm, I'm here for a uh, class. Yes. Yeah. Fabric. Uh, okay. yeah. So we will start from 9.30. 9.30? Yeah, so you can just uh, look around here. Okay. Is there a place nearby to grab a coffee? Uh, but you can use the vending machine if you... Uh, oh, where is that? Uh, the next to the... Next to the museum? Yeah. All right, so I made it to Takefu Knife Village. I'm here in the museum right now. Just looking at some of the tools and equipment they use to make these kitchen knives and steel products. Whoa. The premium or black? Thank you. So basically what we just picked from is the two different knives. They have uh, stainless steel and a cold forged uh, carbon here, so this is the type of knife that I'm going to be building from this type of raw material. Um, we're getting the knives in stage six, so they're oxidized, and we're going to be hammering off the oxidization first for this level. Our end product should look something like this, and that's after honing and sharpening with a whetstone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit inside. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Hi. Hi. More heat? Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> scary. That's <laughs> scary. It's pretty intimidating the first time you do it. Definitely uh, got the jitters out the second round. Operating heavy machinery with very hot metal with people that I don't speak their language. What could possibly go wrong? When you start heating, it will like keep moving, uh, waving, something like this. It, uh, the material itself will be carving. Bending. Yeah, carving. So let's try to move with the same with the material. Okay. You can see the carbon steel on the inside. So cool. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> What's that? Oh, for souvenirs. Oh, okay. I will keep it. Thank you. <laughs> so we're here. Now we're going to sharpen and start honing the knife. Oh! Yeah. So let's try just a softly. Softly. Like a, yeah. Nice. Well, this is a little bit of a little bit of a little Thank you. I already got a mask. Mav, yeah, Mav. Oh, this yeah, they, they the want to take a picture oh, with you later. Of course. Yeah, yes. of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. 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 Of like uh, we miss this black part, yeah. So let's not don't touch this it. One. Yeah. Don't touch it. Only this line, like a one. Yeah. Start here and then more. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Maverick. It's good. <laughs> Cut the paper. <laughs> oh, hi. You have the right knife, correct? 
そうそう自分のやつだよね<笑> We trade <笑> Alright we secured the bag and some gifts for back home So much fun Wow Alright Totoro We gotta go buddy <laughs> yeah, koi fish. Wow. Oh. oh. You guys order what looks good. I will eat anything. I'm not picky. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Good? Yeah, for me. Yeah, love wasabi. Yeah, hi. It was very good. I have a long drive tonight, like a two hour drive, so it's better get on it. Alright, two hours and 11 minutes. Let's get it. I ended up meeting two locals at Fukui, and the one was in there making a knife for his wife's uh, wedding present. So that was super sweet. They were really nice guys. Um, they actually ended up buying me lunch and I tried and tried. I wanted to get uh, lunch as like a wedding gift, but they wouldn't let me. It was a nice way to spend an afternoon. I'm gonna knock some of this drive out and I'll see ya once I get to the camp spot. Look at the scenery. good too but should we just press a random one and see what happens find any outlets outside either so I don't think I have any power tonight for uh, charging the batteries but happy to have a place to pull off at least and a full tummy that was a big day though definitely took some energy out of me all right you guys want to see my knife I tried my best at my first time writing in Japanese symbols it's supposed to say Maverick, so that's apparently how you pronounce Maverick with symbolism. I went with the uh, Cold Forge Steel option. I also did just the English alphabet on this side map. This knife turned out absolutely beautiful. The edge right here, this is the carbon steel, and then the outer edge is actually... Um, just regular steel, so the carbon steel's on the inside. It's so crazy. I forged this thing, honed it, wet, so wet stone sharpened it. I mean, there was definitely points where I needed some help, but I got to see this knife made from start to finish, so that's pretty special. I just wanted to hit at a driving range in Japan, so here we are. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Definitely tough using clubs that aren't yours, but I got a few good ones. 
All right, I've got about a three hour drive today to get to, I'm actually staying at a hotel tonight because I'm going to a festival that goes late into the night. More on that later, but it's called the Fire and Ice Festival. Sounds like a blast. So Totoro and I got a Gotoro. In Japan, not a lot of people speak English, especially once you get out of the city. Um, and the English that they do speak is like very, very spotty, as my Japanese is. So it can be tougher to communicate, but if you have Google Translate and some drive, you can get it done. Yeah. Am I too early? <laughs> I will come back at three. Hi. Arigato ma. Hi. All right. For lunch today, got gyoza, some dan dan spicy ramen. ceremony at this hotel I just checked into. Hi. Alright, we got a little donut and matcha. Hi, this this one. Hi. 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 This is a traditional <clears throat> style Japanese hotel. So basically, this is my room, and right now they have it set up to be a uh, entertainment room with like a dining table, and later we set it up for sleeping. So. Pretty neat. There's hot springs here, so I'm gonna go try to take advantage of that really quick. I can't bring a camera there because I'm gonna be butt ass naked and I'm sure other people will be too and they probably wouldn't like a phone being shoved in their face. There's a very particular way to do this. So you have to bring the right side in first before the left because if you do it the other way, it's the way that they dress the dead. And for men, you need to make sure that you get the, the belt on at your hip bone rather than on your waist, like ladies do. All right, I gotta leave you. See you later. That's very refreshing. I was one of the only people down there for a little bit, so probably could have filmed until I couldn't, but nice steamy bath and an outdoor and indoor hot spring. I have to go to dinner in 15 minutes, so I'm gonna get dressed. For our appetizer, we have squash with red beans. We have simmered fig with vinegar cream, shallot, which goes with the miso, taro and sesame, and some sort of orange sauce, and a plum, a plum wine. But I don't know if the plum wine is alcoholic or not. Sounds like we're gonna have a very big meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soup goes in here. We got sashimi. <laughs> So along with staying at a traditional Japanese hotel, we had a traditional dinner and breakfast. Now we have a soba noodle. This one is with leek and wasabi. Ah. 
。ありがとう。はい。はい。ありがとうな。Mr. Rockfish with a salty tail. I feel like everybody's just saying hi to me. Hi. Hi. Right. Um, white gourd shrimp and Japanese wheat bran named Fu. And then we have Shinshu Wagyu that we make in the hot pot. Now we wait for our meat to cook. Alright, so this is apple jelly, pineapple, and papaya. I think this is apple, actually, this is not a papaya. The papaya was in the apple jelly. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the best meals I've ever had. Not maybe, definitely. Have any words? It was so good. They told me that the shuttle doesn't run tonight, so we're gonna have to drive. But we're going to a fire festival. Whoa! They said, "Let me do it for you." That's super nice. We're here at the fire festival. This is one of three. The best fire festivals here in Japan. This is the、uh, Nazawa Onsen Fire Festival. I'm showing up a little bit late because of my my delicious dinner, but we're here now. So right now they're doing a pho battle of the villagers on top of this wooden structure here, and eventually this place is going to start on fire. Okay, let's go home. I feel like that fire was gonna burn all night. Took about two hours for them to start it, and then I waited for about two hours for the thing to burn down. But it was a、uh, lot of wood. It's about midnight right now. Just getting back to the hotel, and I am sleepy.